Hello guys, in this video, we are going to add some more realism with the ambient occlusion node in Blender. You can download the project file from my Gumroad page, link is in the description. And if you want to support me, you can type in any price and I will really appreciate that. Now let's get started. Okay, so here's our simple scene. We have just some lighting with a speaker and with this background plane. Now to add ambient occlusion, let's go to shading tab. And now let's select our object and let's go to its material. Now to add ambient occlusion, let's add in ambient occlusion node. And to decide the color of our ambient occlusion, let's add in a diffuse BSDF. Now to mix all of them, let's add in a mix shader. And let's plug it in the surface. Okay, now let's plug this AO value into this factor. And let's plug this diffuse BSDF into the second shader. And let's change the color of this diffuse BSDF to black and let's change it to bit of brown and I think we have to invert both of these nodes so let's plug it here okay so now we are fine now we cannot see ambient occlusion here but you can see a bit of ambient occlusion here now to control the value of this ambient occlusion you can add in a color ramp node and let's plug it right here and now if you drag the black value of the ambient occlusion, you can see that we are adding some ambient occlusion. But as you can see, it is not looking very good. So let's drag this white value also. And let's drag this black value a bit behind. And you can see some ambient occlusion here. But still it is not looking very good. Why? Because we have to add in ambient occlusion on the surface on which our speaker sits on and that is our plane so let's add in ambient occlusion to this one also so let's select our speakers and let's copy this node group now let's select our plane and let's paste it here okay so now let's plug now let's plug this principal bsdf into second shader and let's plug the shader into the surface and now as you can see we are adding some ambient occlusion on the ground also. Now to make our renders look more realistic now let's add in an image texture to our ambient occlusion. Now let's select our diffuse BSDF and press Ctrl T and make sure to turn on node wrangler. Now let's open and there is a rust image link is in the description you can download from the project files. Now as you can see our ambient occlusion is looking just like rust. Now let's do the same for the speaker. Let's say you don't want to add ambient occlusion because it takes so much time to render. But you can do that after rendering with the AO pass. Now let's go to render layers. And let's go all the way down till you see ambient occlusion and let's check this one. And now let's render our image. Okay, so after rendering our image, let's close this tab. And now let's go to compositing tab. Now if there is no nodes, you can check use nodes here. And now you can see that here is our AO pass. Now if you have node wrangler turned on, you can control shift click our render layers. And let's check this backdrop to see our image in background. But I prefer to add our image in another tab. So right click here and, and select vertical split. And let's add in an image editor here. And now let's select our image and select render result. Okay, so now the exact image is here. Now to mix our ambient occlusion with our original image, let's add in a mix node. And let's plug it right here. Let's plug this image on this second one and let's plug this AO into this factor. Now let's add in a color ramp to control the strength of the ambient occlusion and let's plug it here. Now let's control shift and click on this mix shader and let's turn that from mix to add. And let's set this white color from white to black. Now you can see clearly everything. And now if you drag this black value, you can see we are adding some ambient occlusion in our scene. But it's way more than we want. So let's drag this white value. 
you have to tweak this value to get better result now if you are happy with your results go to image and then you can save this image and that's it guys that's how you can add ambient occlusion in your scene to add some more realism if you enjoyed this video you can support me on my gumroad page link is in the description and have a nice day